All right, so this is an exciting day. I've finally been able to bring the 1976 Cadillac Fleetwood back to the house to properly review and do a walk around of this magnificent, I, I mean, boat? Sure, yeah, we'll go with that. So the year is 1976. Gas lines are long, the oil crisis is happening, or, or embargo, whatever you want to call it. And uh, your average family sedan gets between 11 and 15 miles per gallon. Inflation is high. But then fast forward to 2022, where your average SUV that's been purchased by a family during a high economic times during COVID gets 11 to 15 miles per gallon and gas is high. No lines yet, but here we are. <laughs> Almost 50 years later and in the same scenario with the car that started it all, the ultimate gas guzzler. And I have one for you here today in some of the highest gas prices that we've seen in the last 30 years. But today, absolutely none of that matters because that's not really worth talking about. That's not the appeal of this car. This is a boat. This is unbelievable. This is 500 cubic inches of Detroit V8 slow magnificent green on green Cadillac goodness. So at 19 feet long, this is one of the longest vehicles you've ever had on the lot. I mean, let's just start here and just work your way. I mean, it's un freaking believable. And if you're not living in America and you've never seen something like this, well, kids, I haven't seen something like this or been up close to something this large that wasn't a full size long bed pickup truck an extremely long time. So let's uh, let's get into it. So there's a lot to take in here. Let's just talk about the backstory. Uh, we were at an auto auction and this thing came across the block. It's the second car there. Start bidding. We weren't bidding. We see where the bidding is going. We bid, we win by accident. I am the happiest person that you've ever heard. And we get the sweetest green on green, 11 mile per gallon, 500 cubic inch rear wheel drive, Cadillac Fleetwood that I've ever seen in my life and it is gorgeous. I mean, look at the paint. It's not even missing these little plastic fins that are gone. I mean, even the soft, even the uh, the top is okay. And again, this is a brome edition, so it's got the top on it. And there's a couple little perme permeations of it, but not too bad. Velour cloth interior, wood trim, air conditioning, tilt steering wheel, power windows, power seat, power antennas, no sunroof. I mean, what more could you want, honestly? It's it's immaculate, it's gorgeous. Let me just fire it up for you. Well, boys and girls, this ain't your average Cadillac. She's on air. <laughs> yeah, she, she goes up and down. I mean, could you, does it get any cooler? I don't think so. There we go. Just get a load of that. <laughs> That's a bad car, people. It's a badass car. So let's just quickly run through the specs that I know. Again, 20 something two feet long, uh, 500 cubic inch V8, naturally aspirated, 192 horsepower, 360 foot feet, pound foot feet of torque. Something like that, top speed 111 miles an hour. Again, no no factors that, that really make any difference or really matter. But let's get into just the exterior first. I mean, look at the miles of, of like beautifully integrated chrome that have just held up wonderfully. I, I don't know the full backstory of this car. This is a Louisiana car that stuck with an original owner for a very long time. It was then sold, I believe, to another guy who instead of replacing the suspension, replaced the Again, just replace the suspension with the air suspension that's currently on. It's on bags, struts in the front, uh, and then bags in the back. But, I mean, she's she's straight, and the paint is good. I don't even see a whole lot of bodywork, which is just amazing for a 76 or many of the Cadillac large American sedans of this era. Uh, decent tires, no major rust. Again, who knows? The car could have been repainted or something at some point. Most of these old cars were, but this one is in great condition. Uh, you know, you've got your little turn signal markers in the front. You've got the Cadillac emblem as well. These adjustable headlights, um, power antenna, which works. The radio cuts on. It doesn't actually play sound, so we have to kind of dive into. Um, coming down the side, again, straight as an arrow. 
uh, brome edition. I don't know exactly what that got you, but it probably added some fancier touches to the interior. Um, beautiful, massive trunk. I mean, it is insane how big the trunk is. It's an overplayed kind of, you know, talking point for these cars, but until you see it in person, it's unbelievable. Power assisted, uh, soft touch clothes on a 76. Wild. Again, I think I showed you that in the intro, but absolutely insane. Here's your, uh, your keyhole for access. Again, just a beautiful, wild piece of American history and, uh, and, and actually American culture. All right. Uh, as you imagine, this hood is not light. Whew. It is not light, but hey, here she is. Uh, very clean in there. Again, it looks like there's been some new up additions. It looks like some painted valve cover gaskets, but again, not rusty. Who knows if these are the original fender liners or anything like that, but the radiator looks much newer. Kind of have a lot of cooling capacity to heat and cool this bad boy. Uh, again, this thing drives very well. Slight exhaust leak, um, but you know, who really cares? It makes it sound much better. Probably spark plugs and wires look new. Brake booster doesn't look too old. Um, and everything's functional, like even the AC, which is absolutely wild. Um, but yeah, again, not really much to see here. Massive iron lunk v8 does the thing makes noises incredibly slow but my god who cares look at this thing <laughs> so let's uh jump into the interior of this car again cadillac it's written everywhere again nothing new for cars of this era opening up on the door card you've got this interior by fleetwood and fisher kind of a coach built uh you know, third party designation there for the time. But let's talk about some other features. And again, common stuff, people don't always know of cars of these, even the 50s and 60s. A lot of semi-modern, I guess, amenities. And the word luxury has changed hands over many generations in terms, but there's a lot of features in this boat that are still prevalent and still considered luxury features today, such as wood. Wonderful plastic wood, but who cares? Uh, you even have this little map light with probably a burnt out bowl, but it's adjustable, it rotates. Uh, power locks, they function, and they function quickly. Wild. Power windows, window locks, look at the mirror. Bam, bam, woo! Again, easy, quick, simple, mechanical. I mean, it's, it's just so cool to see this stuff in motion. Power seats, and guess what? They work! Uh, all your standard pedal setup, uh, you've got this wrapped <laughs> plastic steering wheel. Oh, guess the hood. Hold on. Hold on. Let's get us some. Huh. Thought I'd get a little horn action. Where's my horn action? Oh, there you go. Horn action. <laughs> oh, that's annoying. All right. AC lights, adjustable wipers, tilt steering wheel, column shift again no temperature gauge or anything like that it has like a coolant something or other up here that'll tell you if it's overheating who knows again that doesn't that does that's for that's for ground people to determine whether or not your car is getting hot not nothing to be concerned about here uh fuel tank barely visible here with your level again because who cares you know it's a cadillac it's you get 10 8 seven miles per gallon so you know that's not for you to worry about uh odometer shows sixteen thousand miles it works who knows what that is probably 116 who cares uh under here ashtray of course you've got ashtrays in every pocket uh these beautiful lush seats uh armrest <laughs> your controller here as well vents again cadillac emblem that goes all the way around brougham is emblazoned right here on the dash ashtrays everywhere little lights unfortunately they don't work i think one in the back works but you know pretty pretty normally modern-ish features but let's let's dive into what came with the car man lots of original paperwork so cool again this this stuff's always so wild the factory uh recommended tire pressures of the day so let's get into what we actually have look at these tour maps i just put these in the pocket you know original who knows what year let's see stop at the orange disc golf i mean that alone is worth the price of admission um what else oh we've got the stuff for the air pumps old identification card stuff from the original owner in 76 again all your inspection stickers and whatnot road atlas again this is all extremely period and just wonderful again this car was in an auction you know this is not normal to come 
in a car like this. Usually they're stripped and there's nothing there. Luckily there's a classic car auction, so who knows? More interesting paperwork, monthly monitor from 94. Look, I got his parking permit uh, handicap. So again, the guy had the car for extremely long time. It's just so cool. Here's your maintenance schedule. All, all this Louisiana paperwork. Uh, bills from the day, again, for not that much money. Again, it's amazing how things have gone up recently. Repair bills. I believe there's some receipts for the car in here as well. I mean, it's, it's all here. Again, in a semi-custom car, it's really cool to have this level of documentation. I gotta go through it all and see what it all is. <laughs> oh, there you go. This is this is the, the this is where it all. Well, sir, you know you've done your duty. We have your car now. And, I, you know, luckily it's going on to some people who appreciate it. But, again, I'm putting that all in the glove box. It all is a part of the allure of this machine. But, uh, yeah, wonderful. Oh, there's the power antenna. I didn't mention that. But let's, uh, let's jump in the back. So where the American cars got it but didn't get it was, you know, the, uh, the back seats. Yes, it's huge. But it's not, you know, as, as, as accommodating as far as leg room for taller people as you might think. It's nice. It's not the biggest thing, but it is extremely well appointed and interesting. So jump back here, plenty of leg room. It's just not a huge area. Yes, you sit back behind the C pillar, but it's not as far as I guess some other cars. Oh, other interesting features. Look, you got a, a roof mounted um, seat belt because it's not on the B pillar. Interesting. So again, wonderful green door cards. You got these sweet little, you know, Mercedes W126 S-Class-esque uh, little feet uh, stands down here. Armrest, uh, parcel shelf back here. Oh shit, grab handles. Oh, these lights work. Again, they rotate around because Cadillac bro them and they turn on and off. I mean, it is just a cool bit of kit. I, I can't, I can't stress that or emphasize it enough if you got it it's just something it turns heads and it's experience there's no one that sees this car and doesn't immediately love it even with the air suspension it's just cool all right so my favorite part the trunk and, and this is just this is just so excessive look at that that's the trunk open button and it just whoop, pops right up so when you get back here nothing too crazy um again besides there's just a lot of space there's a lot going on back here you know um Plenty of room, whole bunch of uh, blah, whole bunch of space. This tire probably went up there. Um, it's full of the air compressor and all that fun stuff. Gas tank under the uh, license plate. All the original stickers and everything are all here. I mean, it's just there. And then let's uh, close her up. Whew. Factory 70s, soft close. <laughs> Rear truck. Some more little touches. Your handicap sticker from the uh, from the seventies. Wild. So let's uh, let's close her up. Let's air her up and uh, take it for a little spin. Because why not? All right, going on a boat ride. Let's see what uh, five hundred cubic inches of low compression American V eight can do. Yep, that is foot to the floor. 30, 40, and that's it. There's no, and that was about 1.3 gallons of fuel, so there's no need to make any more speed. But, I mean, it doesn't get any better than that. Just the, <laughs> The view down the hood on this thing is unreal. Great paint. I mean, again, I got the windows down, AC on, 45 miles an hour, air ride. I mean, it just absolutely floats as it should. It's a Cadillac. But this is the best version of a Cadillac. I mean, this is the most Cadillac Cadillac ever. I, I, don't, I don't think this can be eclipsed unless it's like a you know, a 60s or a Fintel 50s, late 50s model. I mean, this is, this is big pimp and Aaron's finest, you know? There's not one person that's not, you know, doing a double take on this thing as it goes by or giving you a thumbs up or something. Let's check out the brakes. 
They work, they're even. Another disc in the front, I'm not sure what they are in the back. It's got a nice rumble to it. <laughs> a couple exhaust leaks there, but you know, that, that adds to the rumble. No one's mad about that at all. And uh, if you know, this is the best, this is the best Bentley. This is the best Rolls Royce. You know, it's a little more reliable. Uh, it almost looks better and it, 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 it turns more heads than any of them. I mean, this is just motoring at its finest or, or, or consuming petrol, let's say, at its finest. Um, you know, just, just the, again, the driving experience, it's for everyone that's watching you, not so much yourself. I think I'm gonna make a mistake by making this wide turn. Nope, got it. I should, could have put the suspension up. I've got it in a pretty low mode, but who really cares? Still at AC? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's, it's working. Ooh, check out this uh, this D2, my man. I need to talk to this guy. Yeah, really clean D2 with an ARB and a rack, a safari rack on it. Yep. That's a future friend. I'll give it the beans again. I gotta turn here because there's enough, it's steep enough at the next turn that I don't think I can clear without fully adjusting the suspension. Now I probably used two gallons as this whole little field trip here has probably cost me over $10, but you know, I'm still smiling and uh, I, I think I'm putting on a show at this point. <laughs> Steering, pretty direct, super light, exactly what you want, nothing that you don't, you know? There's, this is This car would be hilarious to try to make any type of maneuver on. It would be just borderline unsafe, which would make it interesting. So, I don't know, I might take that back, but again, massive big Cadillac, powering around like it's nobody's business. Yep. So, driver's mirror, no passenger mirror. I know, I looked at a couple other ones, one other one we had on the lot, and it also didn't have it. So, again, odd stuff from yesteryear. Oh look, who's this guy in a, uh, a green rover? <laughs> the boys are out today. But smooth, smooth operating power windows. I mean, this thing's a, just a hoot. I don't really have any other words to describe it besides uh, a pretty good time. Let's uh, let's get behind this gentleman in the uh, BMW powered L322 Range Rover. Hmm. Might know who he is. He doesn't have a sports car workshop stick. No, he doesn't. Odd. Uh, motoring along the dash clock, per permanently stuck at 420. Seventy degrees out, twenty-two foot long Cadillac on air suspension, moving around. So this car is for sale. If you're interested, let me know. If you're interested in importing it to another country, let me know. Uh, price is probably around eleven thousand dollars. It really is in good condition, um, one hundred percent functional, rust-free, uh, clean bill of health. Um, again, wild, awesome car. I want to make one more shot of it, and then I'll uh, I'll loop the video out. Whew. Big vibe going on here right now. Kids, this is how I'm gonna wrap up this Cadillac video. I appreciate you watching. <laughs> Love the soft clothes. We're gonna we're gonna call it. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this magnificent beast of American iron automobile. This has been a pleasure of a car to hang out with and be a chaperone of for the past couple months. Uh, I'm gonna plan to drive a little bit more, uh, but again, it is officially listed for sale. Thanks for watching. Uh, thanks for supporting the channel. Uh, more Rover content will be coming up eventually, but I like to do a little bit of everything. I don't like to just focus on one brand or anything like that. So I have fun with it. I hope you guys enjoy this type of content. Like, comment, subscribe, do all that fun stuff. Have a good one.